Now, if you don't know who John D. Rockefeller is, he was known for the production of the Standard Oil Company from the years 1839 to 1937. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Rockefeller poured a significant amount of investments into the educational system. He then created the General Educational Board at the cost of $130 million. So he said a quote along the lines of, I don't want a nation of thinkers, I want a nation full of workers. What does this mean? Did he have a massive influence over the education system and the nine to five trap? Did he have a massive influence over the education system and the nine to five trap? I'm guessing that you don't want to work in nine to five for the rest of your life. To work 50 years, to be free for 15. Now this is unfair, this is rigged. This is, how can this be, you may ask? Working a 40 hour week, just getting by. Now what if I told you that you may be wrong and that you can create the life that you want? By adopting a new mindset filled with abundance and prosperity, you will be able to do what you thought was impossible. Now what is it that all these billionaires have that you've done your crazy and might be completely wrong? And let me just let you know that if you were to work for 30 pounds per hour, by the end of 30 years, you would end up with £1,296,000. Now, this is not including taxes or expenses. So imagine how much money you would have at the end of that. So you, you wouldn't be driving around in a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. So this is my belief, this is what I believe in. So 9 to 5 is a scam. And I guess it always will be. So the rich manipulate the cycle in order to get money to chase them while the poor on the other hand chase money for the rest of their lives so let me tell you why this is so the poor and middle class have a mindset of scarcity and the fear of missing out while the rich on the other hand have a mindset of abundance you see the reason why your equation is completely wrong is because you have to solve big problems in order for people to chuck money for you to solve those big problems. So think about Apple and other billionaires like Elon Musk. What problems do they solve? So when was the nine to five reeled in? The nine to five workday originated back in the 1800s from the American Labor Union who were trying to protect workers' rights. Back then, manufacturing employees would work about 100 hours a week. Then in the 1920s, Henry Ford stepped in and imposed working limits on employees for about 40 hours a week. Now, I don't seem to understand this because, I mean, you might suit a nine to five perfectly. You might love your job. You might love the amount of money you're getting. But at the end of the day, you never, ever, ever, ever will be able to sit in for a while. It's going to take you fucking a lifetime. Just think about it, 30 hours, 40 hours a week, on average, 30 pound, when you get good. When you get good at your job and mastering your craft, 30, 30 pounds an hour, let's say 30 pounds an hour, Just, that's on average. 30 pounds an hour, it takes you 30 years to save up a million and that's not even that's not even the expenses and taxes included so you're not even ended up with, you're not you haven't even ended up with a million now guys i personally believe that the educational system is an indoctrination system and this is the process that people go into in order for them to get taught a load of beliefs that actually don't they don't really matter. They don't matter in life. He's going to school, you follow everything that they do. And at the end of the day, and at the end of the day, they don't, you don't, you don't get anywhere. Like what are your thoughts on it? What are your thoughts? Um, yeah, so. So what are your thoughts on the 9 to 5? Are you one of those who want to escape it as soon as possible? Let me know in the comments. Um, if you have found this video helpful, please subscribe, hit the like button, and yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace.